hello and welcome slash welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bunk in a US summer camp. Most of you watching this are probably thinking about doing Camp America, hence why you're watching this video. And as you can probably see from my channel, I've been doing camp for the last three years, which is quite literally insane. I've been coming back to the same camp, Pine May Camp, for three years straight. All my friends are here, my sister's working here this year. Um, I mean, you can hear the kids in the background. I'm currently on OD tonight, so I have like two hours off. Um, so I've eaten my dinner and I thought, do you know what I'm gonna do with my time off? Most people go out, but I wasn't fancying going out. I'm quite tired anyway, so I thought I'll have a bit of a sit down and then I'll film some YouTube videos. I thought I would give you a tour of the bunk I've been living in for the last two years. So it's a little bit different to what you probably might be expecting because I'm not actually a counsellor and I haven't been for the last two years. I'm a supervisor at my camp, um, which means I oversee other counsellors. Uh, I'm head of visual arts this year, so I'm in charge of media, drama, dance and music. Um, so I kind of look after those counsellors, run everything within those areas, schedule them, etc. So I don't actually live with kids. I just have a roommate who is also a supervisor, Zoe. Um, but we live in this bunk. It's right next to the bunks where the kids live. And to be honest, the only thing that's different is that we don't have bunk beds in here with kids stuff in and we have our own bathroom. Everything else is very much the same. The same rustic feel, uh, which you will see. I don't want to yap on too much. I think we should just get on into it. Okay, I'm actually going to start at the back of my uh, cabin because we're actually on the staff path right now. So this leads down into the rest of camp and this is where all the adult staff live. Um, and then up here is Hilltop, which is the unit that Zoe is in charge of and Zoe is my roommate, um, which is where kids live. And this is our bunk here. So it's technically going in the back, but this is the way we use most of the time. We walk up and we all have screens to keep the bugs out although if you have holes in it, it's not much use and then like an actual door let me switch the light on in here and then this is our bathroom so we have mirror on the back hey um so this is our bathroom pretty basic i mean toilet sink shower nothing super fancy i think a lot of people think that supervisors have really fancy bathrooms I mean, it's nice not having to share with kids and other people, but let's just start over this way. So here we have everybody who's lived in these cabin signatures. So here's Zoe and I from last year, and everybody's got, um, what are these called, Polaroids of them. So here's Zoe and I from last year, and we're gonna be up here again for 2024. We just have kind of like a little storage area up here for all of our toothbrushes and toothpaste and stuff like that. Not very interesting. It's a bit messy right now, I can't lie, we do need to get it sorted. Got our lovely toilet. Love this so much. This is like probably my favourite thing about this bunk. Um, a, the fact that I have a toilet I can just come and sit on in peace. Sometimes you do just have to take five minutes and sit on the toilet and plus the fact that I have Wi-Fi in this bunk means that I just can come and chill in here. And also I can just come and sit on the toilet on TikTok if I need to for five minutes. Yeah, just our sink. I mean, so, so basic. Like... Do you know what I mean? We don't, don't even have a mirror up here, literally just a sink. We have our shower. Literally a shower, like genuinely nothing special. This shower head's also so annoying because it like hits here. So you have to really make sure that this shower curtain is in properly. Um, otherwise you're gonna get water absolutely everywhere. This bath mat was new at the beginning of summer. As you can tell, Zoe bought it specifically for camp because we knew it was going to get disgusting. Our bunk is a little bit different because most of the supervisor bunks is just one room with a bathroom attached or one room without any bathroom attached. We're very lucky to actually have our own bathroom. Um, and Zoe and I's bunk's brilliant because we actually have a shared bathroom and then two individual rooms. I personally love it. At camp, it's a real struggle sometimes to get your own alone time. So having your own room is very pleasant, shall we say. So we walk into the bathroom, usually through this door. You come in through the bathroom and then this is Zoe's room in here. I'll just give you a quick peek because I didn't actually tell her I was filming this video tonight. You can hear Jess making the dinner announcements in the background. They're definitely about to do a sweep. It's probably gonna get a little bit loud, sorry about that. But 
This is Zoe's room. She has like a lot of seats and stuff like that because she holds unit meetings in here. So all of her staff come in in the evenings and just kind of like discuss how the day's gone. And this is my room. Ooh, okay. Did I clean it specifically for you guys? Yeah, but she's cute. You can all hear all the kids leaving dinner now, but as you can tell, very rustic. My mom, when I was FaceTiming the other day, was like, wait, you don't even have glass? I was like, I've literally been at this camp for three years. No, we don't have glass. They're just screens, which is really great because the weather is so hot. You want as much circulation as possible. This is our porch. Let me just show you this quickly. So as you can see, those that's the kids' bunks down there and like the path to get to them. So in our porch is quite messy, I'm not gonna lie. We've got a lot of dumped rubbish from last session. Um, we've got our lines here, which is what we use to hang out our towels and like any wet um, swimming costumes or like clothes or anything like that. And then down there, you can see the majority of camp. This is kind of, oh, they're getting ready for Maccabi, which is tomorrow, and we've just had carnival, hence the blow ups on the green. But yeah, this is the green. You can definitely hear Jess Nielsen just yelling into the microphone in the background of this. Love you, Jess. <laughs> but that is quite funny. You can just see the lake just there. And um, also, this is our mess hall, which is where we eat dinner. Back into my room. It's absolutely massive, especially considering I don't share it with anybody else. I'm kind of just going to move around everything like I would with a normal room tour. So this is kind of my beauty get ready zone we've got my full length mirror which i'm very grateful for let me tell you and here i just keep makeup and earrings deodorants perfume moisturizer like everything you would need all my beauty products over here it's hair stuff moisturizer i'll come here in the mornings and like do my hair moisturize my face um underneath there just keep all my shoes because it's a nice way to keep them out of the way uh, and then also I have my, it is disgusting, I am very, very aware, but I have a fan. This has been a lifesaver this summer, probably could have done with a couple, but Zoe donated this because she bought a new one this year. Again, another lifesaver that I bought last year was this hairdryer, and I'm so grateful that it did not get stolen over, the, uh, over off season because this is so useful when like I wash my hair every day at camp. My hair is so dead. I was literally just looking back at videos from like three years ago before I started bleaching it. Guys, I think I'm going to have to go back. I love the blonde hair and I look so much better with blonde hair. But oh my gosh, my hair is breaking. It's so not okay. Also, look what I found literally yesterday on the floor. It's a proper gibbet, proper Pringles gibbet. The kids keep asking me to trade. My gosh, it's quite dirty, but... I like my gibbets, I think they're fun and I also don't like the overcrowded croc look. I think it's A, uncomfortable and B, is ugly. I've got a pine mirror gibbet that I got from last year from a kid whose mum sent her loads in the post and I managed to snag one. Uh, up above my mirror, I've just got some memorabilia from the last two summers. So this was from an evening activity where I was on stage with Sophia, another supervisor and one of my best friends at camp and it was called Kangaroo Court and essentially we had to try and prosecute or defend the bunks who'd been accused of doing things like throwing rocks in the lake. It's all like fun and games. Um, this was from International Day last year. This was from Banquet last year, Hello Barbie Doll because it was Barbie themed squeeze the day stole from my old bunk this won't stay pinned up so it kind of just hangs here now pleasant i know let's put it back behind the mirror moving off to the side i've just got my bags my tote bag and my bum bag which i use and then behind here i've got some very worn looking beads which i've had for the past three years and some goggles that i stole from some kids last year they never left at Lost Property. I didn't like steal them for some kids. That makes me sound really horrible, but um, they were left in Lost Property last year and nobody claimed them. So I took them. Um, not that I've actually been in the pool much this year because I've been very, very busy. That's my bathroom door. Here I have this, which is from Banquet, which was Moana themed from first session this year. We're in second session. And I hang my towel here sometimes as well. Down here, we just have a random toiletry box, which is kind of dirty, um, which I haven't used this year. And then also toilet paper. This is my whiteboard. Oh my goodness. So this is really helpful because it just means I know what I'm doing each day and I have something I can kind of reference if I'm in my bunk. So we're here today. It's been Shabbat. We've had carnival. It's been a very long day. 
next two days is very long as well we've got Maccabi Maccabi but then I've got an off day oh my goodness get me here right now and then we leave so soon like you can see when I'm filming this it's so sad um I've got my countdown for how many days of camp left and also how many days until I'm actually home in the UK we're quite fancy here we've actually got a bit of a walk and wardrobe situation going on I mean it is absolutely full of junk um but let me explain We've got an egg crate left over from last year, but I've actually already got one on my bed this year, so I didn't need this. So it has just been sat here, and I did say I was going to give it to Jiggles, but he never really mentioned it again, and I'm not dragging it all the way to the village for him, so sorry. And we've got a pine mirror bag, which was in this bunk last year, which I stole, and I'm planning on fully taking home to the UK because it's so good. It's like a little weekend bag, and it's waterproof. Um... I've just got all my jumpers hung up here and I've got my waterproof and then also my wash bag because I don't use this when I'm at camp but I store like extra things like extra medication, bar of soap, nail clippers, like stuff like that. We've got a plaque from 2002. Oh my goodness. Lynn's name is on there. Lynn's works here now. Um, you've probably seen her in the other vlogs if you watch any of my other camp vlogs but everything up here and up here as well. I don't know what it is. I'm not touching it. I'm not bringing it down. I have no interest. It looks disgusting. Uh, this is Zoe's bag from just camp. She doesn't have a lot of space in her bunk, so I said she could keep it in here. In here, we just have quite a lot of junk, to be honest with you. Like all the old water bottles from years past, which I'm probably not gonna take these red ones home because they're kind of crap, they break all the time, but I'm gonna try and get this one home because, um, then I'll have two of these and I use these all the time at home. They've just commenced Maccabi meetings, so if you can hear a lot of yelling in the background, that's why. They're getting hyped for tomorrow. You can hear them. It's it's very nice, it's sweet. On here I just have spare toiletries. I bought so much sun cream. I mean I'm going on a road trip afterwards and we're going hiking and stuff, so I can definitely use this then, but ridiculous, I did not need this much. Um, just like spare body washes, spare shampoo, conditioner. This is a random bowl of beads I had because last year I was really into making like necklaces and stuff like that and just haven't touched these since. I should make some more and get some elastic from Arts and Crafts. Here I've got my pyjamas and just old clothes that I've left at camp for the past three years which I don't wear and are definitely getting donated. And then hats and some nicer tops for going out out. Down here is literally a pile of junk. It's like my turkey roast, which is an event that the Hilltop and Village do, which the oldest kids at camp, they roast like four turkeys over a f an open fire for the day. So I've got those, which I'll take home. Like the Little Mermaid scripts, which was the camp show this year. Just like a lot of rubbish. Um, and then also my camera stuff, some glitter and face paint from the camp show. I've got all my clothes here, which to be fair i've refolded for this video i won't lie to you guys they are never usually this neat got all my dresses for the dances not that i've been to any this year because i've been so busy um and all my shabbat clothing my suitcase that i bought with me me uh, rucksack i brought with me i thrifted this the other day how gorgeous suede and it was like 12 dollars i had a really good thrifting day the other day Got so much in there, spent like $50 thrifting, got so much. Kind of just have this random thing here. Um, this is a telephone you can use to ring other bunks. Sophia quite often calls up us at night if she doesn't want to text us or she doesn't have any Wi-Fi. And then these are all the books I've brought to camp for the past three years, which I will either be leaving here as kind of like a communal bookshelf um, or I will be donating to friends in the US. I've got my flags from International Day, represent, my dirty laundry bags, laundry goes out tomorrow, hence the very full laundry bag. My goodness, they're doing their meeting just down there. I use my window sh uh, sills as shelving, so we've got some hand sanitizer, which I've not used as hand sanitizer this year, but I've used a stain remover. I don't even know where I picked this up from, because I definitely didn't buy it at all in the last three years. Um, Day quill, night quill, very important. Get these, you guys will get sick. I've got mint tea, green tea, normal tea, lovely tea selection. You will always need these. 
I'm gonna make myself a mint tea later because my stomach really hurts. Um, we've got a fidget toy, th oh, three torches, a pair of scissors, and some allergy meds. Weird combination, but it works. Um, hot chocolate, I've got my spare multivitamins and also my birth control. Um, I've got the rest of my vitamins over there, but we'll get to kind of that area in a second. I've got my walkie-talkie because I'm a supervisor. Look at that. Performing arts. Lovely stuff. This is actually empty B12 thing that I need to just throw away. Down here is kind of like a dumping ground area. It's got my charger plugged in. And then I keep my laptop here charging. I've just got my converter, spare camera batteries. And then this stuff is fabric like scent remover because we had an issue last year with clothes coming back from the laundry smelling so I just bought this in advance in preparation um and I just spray it if like my laundry doesn't smell too fresh but it's generally been fine this year to be fair and then also this is a lifesaver at camp guys get yourself one of these it's a stain remover gel stick this is my bedding area I've got my bedside table so let's just go through this shall we this is the water bottle I brought from Target this year $22 which sounds quite expensive but if you've gone to camp before you know you'll end up spending so much in target um she's already very dented and scratched and i'm not sure if she'll be making it home to the uk i'm going to try my best because it does keep your water quite cold but like i said it's just been a lifesaver over here but i do want to be you know sustainable and reuse it but i'm quite tight on packaging already these are two books i bought this in the uk to bring here which i have literally just started on od last night which you can see and then i bought this in the bookstore in um stroudsburg which is our local town I i'm kind of making my way through it you can see there but it is quite a tough read to get into i think it was translated from a different language to english and it's also not a genre i would tend to pick in this top drawer it is basically a dumping ground of just utter crap i've got pseudocreme a rip off american pseudocreme i've got electronics um extra film for a polaroid camera i've got spot patches um paracetamol my airpods my kindle uh, possible charger gum I go through so much gum here oh my gosh um earrings that i thrifted the other day which i don't really have anywhere to keep them so they just stay in here packet of cards this portable glasses cleaner and fixer which is so useful my purse a literal wad of cash oh my goodness i mean look at that it's because i don't want to take it out when i go on a day off because i don't want to get mugged so i take out a little bit at a time i've got i bought a new face necklace this year so i've got my old one in here because i changed it at banquet for second session so this is my old one which i still absolutely love but i just wanted a fresh new one on for banquet in this second one i've just got my journal it's a lot of like stationery in here it's mainly just pens and extra notebooks and then in here is just loads of sanitary towels and plasters my period at camp is a nightmare i will say it's me on my bed right now i am quite comfortable even if i don't look it i am very lucky because supervisors get actual beds with actual mattresses nobody else does like all counselors and kids get they're, they are mattresses but they're not really they're kind of camping mattresses so hello so when i'm in bed i like to do my makeup for shabbat because this gets the best lighting because obviously i've got these screens i really like it because it looks out into camp as well i just painted my nails hence why this is here and here are all of my vitamins that i take every day so i've got b12 multivitamins cod liver oil and magnesium and then above my bed as well i keep my melatonin this year for some reason i really haven't been sleeping well which is so unlike me at camp and i do think it's because this year i'm doing the media sector of my job which i wasn't doing last year and it's meaning that i am on the computer a lot throughout the day and i think it's just messing with my kind of sleep um, routine and kind of 
do you know when you're looking at blue lights and it messes up with your sleep routine that which i knew was a thing but i didn't realize how seriously screens affected me until this year when i've been on the computer until like 11 o'clock at night working and then i come up here to try and sleep and i just can't fall asleep even though i'm exhausted so i'm really gonna have to watch out for that when i get back to the uk and that does kind of suck because it's one of the things i liked about camp was the fact that i was just outside all day not on the computer and i could just come up to my bunk and fall asleep whenever does not happen this year hence the, mag uh, the magnesium the melatonin and i will be buying so many of these to take back to the uk trust me i have major issues falling asleep and then the rest of it's not that interesting just my phone some bubbles and my sunnies and that's my whole bunk to be honest with you guys uh, i absolutely love it i've loved living here for the last two years it's an absolute dream shall we say i like the open airedness of it i like that i just walk out and i'm in nature the second i step out i was just thinking about that the other day when i was walking to flagpole i am exhausted this year like my job is 10 times busier than any job i've ever done and i'm so proud of myself for being able to do it because genuinely i do so much uh, and i'm just busy constantly but one thing i really was sort of stood reflecting on as we were at flagpole in the morning was the fact that i'm able to wake up fling on anything it doesn't really matter how i look in the morning i literally spend about 15 minutes getting ready like brushing my teeth getting dressed and then i'm out the door and i'm instantly in the outside world there are not many jobs that you can say you do that and that you get to spend so much time in the open air if you want to see more camp america content or you're even slightly thinking about coming to camp please please do it's absolutely life-changing i can promise you that and i will have more camp content coming soon i'm gonna have camp vlogs from this year i'll have me sat down with my friends giving you some advice you know advice from people who've actually worked at camp for a good chunk like good amount of years uh, but yeah hopefully you've enjoyed hopefully you are inspired to come to camp and be outdoors and work with kids and be exhausted all the time and just be in the most wonderful chaotic environment ever my walkie keeps going off and i will see you all very shortly thank you so much for watching subscribe down below have a great day